Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Foss Fishing. Welcome back to the channel. Today is Friday the 29th and we are hauling all the 10 lobster parts. We're also hauling the deep sea part or the fishing part and hopefully we'll get a cod, a decent sized cod because the wife has ordered some poached cod today. And also I'm hoping we'll get one of those uh, Norway lobsters so I can get a decent lunch. If I just catch one, I'll probably uh, supplement it with some crab as well. The pots have been soaking for a bit too long, uh, in my opinion. They've been soaking for 96 hours, <coughs> four days. <coughs> Last haul was on Monday, so today is Friday, and uh, I would like to haul them more often, but uh, you know, that's life. And uh, so we'll see. I'm not feeling too confident today. Uh, but uh, you never know. Let's get fishing. Very small card, off you go. Then there's a ha. bit bigger one. Ah, I caught this before. I don't know if you remember, but it had a damage on the tail. You can see. So I'm letting it go this time as well. And then we have a really nice one here. And this one, this one will... <laughs> this one we're keeping. I'm guessing two, two and a half. Let's let's weigh him. No. That is two two point one. But uh, there is a lot of guts. He has probably been feasting inside the pot. So there's, I can feel there's a small fish in here. So that's about 100 grams. So it's a two kilo cod, nice condition. Goes for the table tonight. And of course, this little beauty, the uh, Norway lobster. I might have this one for lunch. So yeah. I'm gonna bait this up again and head out to uh, hold the lobster pass. <laughs> Crabs! 
Now, as I said before, the legal landing size for crabs in Norway is like, is it 11 centimeters, I think, across the, the, the broadest piece of the, the shell, the back. So, 11 centimeters, that's not very much. Whoop. But uh, I'm not keeping any of these. And uh, also I'm gonna uh, set all these uh, five pots, which I have here uh, outside of the Shede. I'm gonna set them somewhere else. I'm gonna move them all together. So I'll have to fill up the boat in order to move them. Off to the next one. Crabs. Three crabs, that it. So, yeah, just off to the next one. Four crabs. I'm gonna. I don't know if you can see, but now this crab, it's above minimum size, so it's not a problem. Even though it's small, as I said, just 11 centimeters minimum landing size in Norway. But it is. It's a female, and it is like brown red underneath. And I'm hoping. I'm hoping it has roe inside or uh, eggs that hasn't been transferred to the under underside of the shell. Here. So I'm gonna boil this. I'm gonna cook it together with the with the Norway lobster, and hopefully it'll get me a good lunch. Yeah. One more pot here at Sheda, and then I'm uh, heading over to the, you know, the standard lobster pots. See you there. Oh, 
nice card. This one I'm keeping, it should be about one and a half, one and a half kilos. And then let's see. fishing parts, the, the modified fishing parts. Uh, my hopes wasn't too great for these five and uh, yeah, so it came through. Huh. It'll probably be better next one. Okay, let's go. couple of waves today. Yeah, 26, 20. Twenty-seven. 
27, spot on 27. That is a beauty, a big male. You can tell by, well, usually the males have bigger claws. And the crushing claw, let's see ya. And the crushing claw is, uh, well, it, it's more massive. Now, the tail and the two little flippers on, on beneath here. Right here. Whoop, 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 whoop. They're bigger and they're uh, harder. The female is softer and uh, tinier, smaller. And also the tail is uh, more narrow and on the female it's it goes more like like that and on the male it goes more like this the tail so the female has room for more roll nice okay I'll tie up these uh, the, the claws and uh, we're off to the next one. I might just set it back out here. Huh. Oh man, those gulls. Number 14, you know, so uh, we're getting there. Lobster! <laughs> oh, that is a beauty, it's a big one. Let's just get this out of the way. Crabs. And then. Let's just get the measuring right away here. Twenty-eight and a half. I'm really happy with that one. Two keepers, and it's the 29th. It's Friday the 29th, and uh, we're halfway through the season. Any time now, and um, getting two at this uh, point in the season is uh, well, it's not. It's not bad. So that makes this number 15. Season goal is reached. But uh, I don't feel quite like. I don't really feel like quitting quite yet. Uh, I'll probably haul some more pots. <laughs> and uh, yeah, maybe do some cook-ups and stuff. That is a nice one. And I'll show you how I tie up the, the class as well now. So I have 
have the, I don't know what you call these, pincers like. And you take a rubber band. Like this. And just go through. Nice lobster, really nice blue on the tail here as you can see. That's a beautiful blue. Nice size. Oh, and a male, same as the last one. You can see the big, well, uh, I guess it's the reproductive organs. male and the tail is narrow and also the claw is there's a lot of meat in that claw compared to the crabs <laughs> which are mostly empty so uh, yeah I'm really happy with that one nice one double whammy Not too often you get in the pots, but uh, I guess last time there was a similar uh, cold fish that couldn't get out and he died, or it died. But it shouldn't be a problem, you know. Well, that's bait and uh, a couple of. small ras don't know if you can see the has pretty beautiful colors on it okay off to the next one
path left. I'll put this somewhere where uh, hopefully it won't get as many crabs next time. And then uh, we'll hold the last one. It's right there, I think.